What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I actually just got up here to the land. Me and John from over at Creek Fishing Adventures have had this planned out for a few weeks. So there's a little river that we've been wanting to fish for quite some time now. He came up here about a month ago and fished it. It was a little bit colder. Fishing was a little slow. He, he did decent. He caught some fish. But my family's land is actually probably six minutes from that river. So me and him planned out a trip. We're coming up here. We're spending the night. We've got this little cabin of mine. And, you know, we're going to spend the night. We're going to build a big fire, hang out. We've already been fishing. We've caught some catfish. John's caught two or three bass on top water. Caught a couple bluegill, giant bluegill this pond. I think we're going to have to actually come up here, take some of these bluegill out, do like a catch and cook because it's almost overrun with bluegill, which has to be killing the bass population. So, but yeah, it's uh, about 8 o'clock now. We've probably got another hour of daylight left. We're pretty much settled in. We've got the Crescent Shoalies loaded up and John's truck. So it's gonna be very, very fun. Hoping to catch some really nice river fish tomorrow. Hoping the top water bites on. But let me show you all something real quick. Show y'all inside the cabin. Some of y'all have seen it, some of y'all haven't. But it's super cool little spot up here. All off grid, all ran off solar power. John actually brought this thing up. So I've got a small generator. I typically run this air conditioner off of. It's two cycle, it's very little. Um, makes a little noise, but you know, nothing that bothers you. But he brought this thing up here that makes zero noise, guys. Zero noise. It's running this air conditioner. It's actually really amazing, and I'm kind of jealous, and I want one. But check it out. That thing right there is running this old unit, which pulls this little cabin down. That's typically what I use. Just a small little two-cycle generator. But this thing makes no noise whatsoever. And it has this cabin down right now to like 68 degrees inside here. So it's super cold. I mean, it is cold in here, guys. But yeah, this is where we're at tonight. Uh, either me or John's gonna sleep on that bed or he's gonna sleep on this futon. Mm -hmm. We've got solar, we've got a cooler full of drinks and food. We've got a little TV that runs off the solar power. You know, you can watch movies. We've got sandwich meat. And uh, yeah, really cool, man. It's just a cool little spot to get away. And like I said, the whole point of coming up here and staying is the fact that we can wake up early in the morning and drive five minutes down the road and launch our kayaks in this super cool little river guys so we're gonna hang out tonight we're gonna let it get dark we're gonna build this fire up sit around the fire i'm gonna drink a cold beer john's probably gonna drink a cold mountain dew and you know we may throw a catfish rod in and catch a catfish or something guys so yeah let's hang out and uh hopefully tomorrow we have a really good day of some smallmouth fishing
Damn, I just had a good follow. -up. This is one thing that makes this crescent special is the shape of this hull. You can paddle back up this current rather easily. So that is one thing I definitely like about the crescent. One reason why I chose it is like, you know, a lot of times in these rivers, you know, in this shallow water, you float down really fast, you pass up spots. You know, if you can find just a little bit of section that you can paddle back up, this crescent is made, you know, and designed to be able to paddle up really really easily and I because I just had a fish come out and a good fish probably 16 inches followed this um, mag draft up so I'm gonna butt up on these rocks and then I'm gonna make a few casts over here and see if we can't catch it because he's still over there we can't catch this fish yeah I was hoping he ate it I stopped it he swapped at it again, and that, that was it. I even paddled back upstream to make some more cast on him. But they, it's like once they use that energy to try to eat it, they don't do nothing else. There we go. Not a bad one. Pretty good one. Get up here. Woo, that's a good one, John. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna put it, I might put it on this little measuring thing here in the middle. First one for me for the day. Not a bad fish either. Looks like it's about 16 and a half. Oh wow. Nice. I didn't know that big. I didn't either. <laughs> All right, guys, finally. Well, I think we've been out here for an hour and a half. I think John's caught five. A couple decent ones up in the current, and we, we switched up to these little paddle tails. And I believe that's going to be the deal down through here in this current. But I finally got my first one uh, over 16 inches. I'll put it on the built-in board here in the Crescent Showley. But finally got a decent little smiley, guys. Felt good. And uh, we're going to keep throwing and see if we can catch some more. We've still got several miles to go. She might give us a little dance or something here. <laughs> she ain't hurt. <laughs> she just don't She's know what to stunned. do. There she goes. <laughs> Hiding under the cut. So who's working if you and her are both off at 12 and 1? Huh, that's weird. Well, I, was to work here, just here. I got fish on. Ah, hold on. Stay on here. Oh, well, I'll tell you that. Oh, golly. I'll tell you that. All right, bye. She gave me good luck. That's a good fish, too. Really good fish. Oh, man. That fish jumped like five foot out of the water. Wow, that was awesome. Get up here. Woo, number two, another really good one, guys. Boom, another good fish. Right off that little wall, right where that current's coming in. Boom. Really good one. Ate that little Kitek. Not bad. All right, guys. Let it go. Thanks, buddy. That was awesome. That fish was probably close to the same size as the other one. That fish was probably 16 inches or so. So we've gotten two good fish today. We've still got a decent ways to go, so hopefully we can find some more. That's the plan.
Oh! Oh, dude, look, 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 look. <laughs> Yay, a oh, little bitty dude. Dude, they're in the current, John. They are in the current. They're in the current for sure. I'm driving the other one. Stop. Go to the, uh, hey. go to the left. It's a fish. We got it. He's barely bigger than my paddle tail. But, hey, I'm going to take it right now. I'm going to take it. <laughs> I'll get it on video, dude. It'd be cool. <laughs> I get work on my tan, too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I get working on my tan. Cool I think I had a pretty good one, John. He got it deep. There we go, guys. There's another one. Just a little guy, but bigger than the last one. I'm gonna let it go, and I'm gonna retie. See if we can get another one. John just had one hit his mag draft. Let's let it go. Thank you, buddy. Come on. You good? Big off, little dude. This looks pretty good right through here, though. With a little bit. Now that the current's picking up a little bit. Oh. Oh, dude. I'm switching hooks. That's the, th that's the third fish I've lost. That was a good fish. There it is. Got that one. Get up here. <laughs> Barely hooked, too. That's probably why I'm losing them. 
Not huge, but he's super fat. Come down, little buddy. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Well, buddy's got some girth on him. Little belly. Come out from under that log. That's kind of what I've been targeting for these last, you know, few fish that I've lost. I've all come on logs. Tore my tail off. Get another. I know, I went right through it. <laughs> I'm gonna catch one though, watch this. Oh, I just got bit. Oh, dude. Yep. Uh, up here. I told you I was gonna catch one. <laughs> Contact's getting the job done. That's almost back to back fish. Making up for the couple that I lost. No, oh, what are you doing? That's another one. Not a bad one. go guys make a couple more casts right here awesome day's turning around a little bit John yeah I keep thinking is that thunder but then I'm like is that a plane I got another one Another one out of this little pile right here, guys. I just lost my Kitek. Little one. Little one, John. Just a little guy. But another one. That's what, you know, we come on these trips, we don't have to catch giants. I've caught two good fish today over 16 inches. That's good. Let's catch some little fish. Let's have fun. You want these trips to be fun. Not every trip, you know, we're not fishing a tournament. Not every trip you're trying to outdo the next person. You want to see your friends catch fish. You want to catch fish. You want a couple decent ones, but they don't have to be huge. We're just having fun. This is what makes it fun. Setting the hook, filling that little tug, man, even from the little guys is a blast. It was. Got it. Bluegill. What? Got a bluegill. How about that? We're really doing some creek fishing adventures today. Bluegill! Hey, when you're with John, this is the type of stuff that happens. Oh, oh, John. I got a giant, dude. Giant. John. I got a giant. Stay on! Giant, guys. No! Oh my gosh! It was huge! No, I said it. This is my last one. They're all gone. Guys, that was a giant. I was, I was going down the rapids when you yelled and I made a quick... I know. Gosh. I was going to holler, I need your net. Yeah. But I was just like, I don't think you could get here in time. Dude. You, you, you know what I'm doing? I'm about to... I'm, dude, that was a giant. That would have made, I, dude, I was so confident I was gonna land that fish. I'm switching rods. Putting it on a different rod.
John have one hit a spinner bait. Let's see if we can catch it. Right here somewhere. Right here in this next little spot. Yeah, have one smack the spinner bait. Maybe it'll eat a cock up. And we got it. What we'll do? Little smolly. Probably what hit it, smacked this spinner bait. This little guy right here, but I just hammered it. Calm down, dude. I'll see if we can catch another one right here. Just a little guy. Still fun, though. We did decent today. I mean, nothing went horrible. We dropped the ball and lost two way too many fish. Decent fish. One really, really big one, especially for this river. Would have made the entire trip. Amazing, if I would have caught that fish, we would have made this trip like 100%. Great, great trip. But like I said, no complaints, we had a blast. So let's get unloaded and get back up to the property. Not a bad trip though. All right, guys, what a day, what a day. Started off slow, kind of turned the day around once we picked up that Kytec, started catching some fish. I kind of dropped the ball, I don't know. I, I mean, I guess that's how fishing goes. I lost at least four, I lost a giant, saw that fish, it was a big one, and I don't, I don't know why I kept losing. I don't know if it was my rod. I think that rod I was throwing was just a little too stiff. It wasn't keeping those fish pin right, because I mean, at first I was thinking it was the hook, but I caught several other smaller fish on that same hook that stayed pinned, so I'm assuming it's the rod. Uh, but yeah, just got back up to the little cabin, up to the property. John went ahead and took off. The bottom actually fell out of it. It started thunderstorming about the time we got back up to the trucks to, you know, put his kayak over into his truck. So, but yeah, I had to come up here and grab a few things, get packed up, get back to the house. Guys, as always, thank you all for watching. That was actually a really cool flow for me. I kind of grew up coming up here to this land as a kid. We would go over to that river all the time. Every single weekend for probably the first 14 years, 15 years of my life, we would go to that river every weekend, way up into like Wallen, up to the wild, to the sinks, and we'd go swimming. It never crossed my mind to fish it until now that I'm actually pretty heavy into kayak fishing and stuff. And you know, like I said, me and John had talked about doing that float. We finally did it. And it's something that I'm hoping to do a lot more because it's literally, you know, seven or eight minutes from our property. So, but yeah, guys, we're going to wrap this thing up. We're going to finish up getting packed. We're going to get this stuff down to the truck. And I'm actually going to throw a little bit of uh, sandwich meat on this hook and end this trip, hopefully with a catfish here in just a minute. I just want to catch one catfish before I leave. That's what I'm going to try to do, guys. So as always, appreciate you guys for watching and we'll see y'all on the next one. Peace. Ha, ha, ha.